It is very easy to make your sound better with Audacity. You have to apply these four effects in this order with proper configuration. Many people fail to apply the appropriate configuration though they maintain the order correctly. The proper configuration varies from recording to recording. I will show how you can find the best configuration for these effects and achieve the maximum possible quality. I will use this piece of audio to show the demo. I will duplicate this track by selecting everything in Command D or Control D if you are using Windows. I will name this track Original. It will be useful later when I compare the original track and the effects applied track. Let's listen to the raw recording I had. Audacity is the best software for audio editing and recording. Audacity is actually the best free software for audio recording and editing. I will show you how to make your sound better using Audacity. So what are the issues with this recording? Well, the volume level of the recording is not that high. It also has some background noise. Actually, these issues are common with most of the recordings, so we have to find a way to minimize those issues or find a solution. We will start with noise reduction. You have to find a portion of the recording with only noise and no spoken words. In this recording, I have such a portion in several places. These parts only contain white background noise or some kind of hissing noise. It does not matter if you select this noise sample from the beginning, middle, or end. The key point is that noise is also present in the spoken parts of the audio. So when the noise reduction is done, that kind of noise will be less obvious in the spoken parts. The waveforms we see here are small, and I can increase the track height. I press Command Shift F to increase the height of these tracks. For noise reduction, I will select this noise only part from the end and go to the effect. The noise reduction effect is inside noise removal and repair. The effect menu you see here might be different from yours. It can be set from the preference of how your effect menu will look. Browse to the preferences, effects. Sort or group dropdown determines how your effect menu will look. Mine is the default for Audacity 3.2.4. Back to the noise reduction, go to effect and noise reduction. Noise reduction is a two-step process. In step one, you will give Audacity a noise profile. Audacity will remove those kinds of noise matching with this profile in step two. Click on get noise profile. After giving the noise profile, select everything inside the track by double-clicking. Go to Noise Reduction again. In Step 2, you have to set values for these sliders. If you want to read yourself the perfect values for these sliders and what kind of noise Audacity can reduce, click on the Help icon. It will take you to an Audacity manual page, and you can read details about the noise reduction effect. I will not go into the details of this doc, but my main point of interest is this section where it says about the settings for spoken words. It recommends using a value of 6 for each of the sliders. This is the best setting while the noise is removed, keeping the original quality of the recording intact. But if you have a loud background noise, then exactly these settings may not perform very well. You should keep another thing in mind during noise reduction. Audacity can only remove white background noise like hissing or hum. It cannot remove irregular background noise like traffic or people talking nearby. Let's get back to Audacity. Noise reduction is the amount of noise reduced when it is found. It should be kept between 6 to 12. The lower, the better. If you set the noise reduction value greater than 12, then it degrades the audio quality significantly. I usually use 9 in this meter. Do 6 or 9 in this meter and do the rest of the processing on your audio. If you see a noticeable noise after all the processing has been done, then apply noise reduction again. For sensitivity, use the value of 6. Sensitivity decides how aggressive the noise reduction will be. The higher the value, the more aggressive it is. If you set the sensitivity to zero, it does not matter what you put in the noise reduction slider. No noise reduction will happen. Noise reduction works best with a value of 6 in sensitivity, so keep it that way. For frequency smoothing bands, set the value of 6. When the noise reduction is done, a gap is introduced in the frequency, and frequency smoothing tries to minimize that gap. For spoken words, a value of 6 works best for frequency smoothing. For instrument sounds, frequency smoothing should be lower, like 1 or 2, and for voice, it should be higher. 
I suggest you use 6 for frequency smoothing. Click OK to apply noise reduction. OK, so the noise reduction is done, and if we check the beginning part, you will see nothing appearing in the meter. You mainly have to check the noise in the spoken parts of the recording and check if the recording quality is not degraded significantly. Audacity is the best software. I can now compare it with the same part in the original track. Audacity is the best software. Audacity is the best software. The noise has been reduced, but the audio quality is okay. After noise reduction, we will move to the second step, EQ. Select everything inside the track and go to Effect. Choose Filter Curve EQ. EQ is the process of manipulating audio by frequency. What is the frequency and how audio is built with frequency is a very detailed topic that does not fit the scope of this video. We will only focus on the minimal EQ required in a voiceover. The green line you see is the line you draw to manipulate frequency. I will flatten the line from the flatten button. In the x-axis, you can see the frequency range. It starts at 20 Hz and ends at 20 kHz. The human being can only hear sound in this frequency range. In y-axis, you can boost or cut a specific frequency volume. If you drag up the green line to 6 dB, it means boosting every frequency by 6 dB. If you drag the line to minus 6 dB, then it means you are decreasing the volume of all frequencies by 6 dB. The purpose of EQ is to either cut or boost specific frequencies. Because some frequencies sound harsh, whereas some frequencies sound good. An excellent place to start EQ is using the presets in Audacity. From factory presets, select low roll-off for speech. The purpose of this EQ is to cut low frequency noises from voiceover. When we speak, the beginning frequency starts from 80 Hz, and all other frequencies are more than that. If you cut frequencies below 80 Hz, it can reduce some low frequency noises. You can see some small dots over the green line. You can drag those dots to adjust the line. A new dot will appear if you click anywhere inside the green line. I will make the roll off from 80 Hz instead of 100. I will make the line a bit steeper. I will apply this EQ. It is the simplest EQ that should be applied to a voiceover. Manipulating other frequencies through EQ is a very complex topic. To keep this video simple, I am not adding any other EQ. If you are interested to know the details of EQ in Audacity, please check the links in the description. We will now add the important third effect, the compressor. The purpose of the compressor effect is to reduce dynamic range. In other words, it decreases the gap between high volume and low volume sounds. For example, if your recording has a loud shout and a gentle whisper, there will be a wide gap between the volume levels. The compressor reduces the gap, so both the shout and whisper become clearly audible. Though my recording has a small gap between loud and quiet parts, a compressor effect will still make the voice lively. Before applying the compressor, you have to play some loud peaks and lowest sounds and check the recording meter. I'll sh editing. And editing. I'll sh As I play in C, the loudest part is touching minus 12, and the lowest is touching minus 18. It is very important to note this reading. We will need this reading to configure the compressor properly. As it is vital to notice the level, I will drag this meter down to have more space to make it bigger. The meter is becoming bigger as I drag, but still, the numbers are the same. I will drag the meter further down to the empty space. This time, the numbers are shown in detail as I expand. I will play the audio and notice the recording meter. I will take note of the value it crosses most of the time, and the value it touches during the occasional peaks. Audacity is the best software for audio editing and recording. Audacity is actually the best free software for audio recording and editing. I will show you how to make your sound better using Audacity. I see it crosses minus 18 most of the time and touches minus 12 from time to time. It will play an important role in compressor configuration. Select everything and go to Effect, Compressor. I will reset the settings to default. Audacity has two kinds of compressors upward and downward. 
The download compressor is difficult to configure in Audacity because it does not use the values we see in the meter. It uses RMS value. We will avoid the complexity by using the upward compressor. To use the upward compressor, check the compress based on peaks. It does not matter if you check or uncheck this makeup gain because we will normalize after this step, so this value will not have any effect. The graph before the slider shows how the compression will happen, and if you change the threshold or ratio, this graph will change. The threshold value should be set to fall between the two values we noticed in the meter during the playback. For my recording, it was minus 18 and minus 12, so I should set a value between them. I would say minus 15. Any recording below minus 15 will increase volume by the ratio I set. I would set the ratio of 4 to 1. The higher the ratio is, the more compression will be done. Too much compression makes it sound unnatural, 4 to 1 is a good ratio. If the high and low volume difference is too much, then you can try a much higher ratio. The noise floor should have a value greater than the noise only part but less than any speaking sound. I would set it to minus 35. I will keep the attack time and release time to default as that works well. Click on apply and the compression will be done. Let's listen to the compressed sound. Audacity is the best software for audio editing and recording. Audacity is actually the best free software for audio recording and editing. I will show you how to make your sound better using Audacity. It is quite ready we just have to add one more effect normalization. To normalize, select everything and go to effect, normalize. Sometimes you may need to use loudness normalization instead of normalize. It mainly depends on the platform and if it has a requirement for loudness normalization to a particular value. You can use normalize for YouTube videos or where it is not specified. You will set the peak amplitude for normalization and minus 3 is a good value. Normalization is a way to control volume. The value you set as peak amplitude will be the volume level of the loudest part of your audio. Every other part of the audio will get the same amount of boost as the peak amplitude. Zero is the maximum value you can set in this field as that is the maximum value in this meter. You cannot set a positive value in this field as the controls become inactive. I will set it to minus three, which works well with YouTube videos. Normalization is done, and let's now listen to our improved audio. Audacity is the best software for audio editing and recording. Audacity is actually the best free software for audio recording and editing. I will show you how to make your sound better using Audacity. It is quite an improvement if you compare it with the original audio I had. Audacity is the best software for audio editing and recording. Audacity is actually the best free software for audio recording and editing. I will show you how to make your sound better using Audacity. So this file is ready to export, and I can export it as an MP3 or WAV or any other file format I need. I have presented this video in a beginner-friendly way. You can check the links in the description if you want to learn details about the effects I apply to make the sound better. Thanks for watching and see you next.